Hallelujah. All praise to the Most High. Yehu Azabaat. And Yehusha, our Messiah name. Amen. I'm your brother Eleazar. Ben Shalom Melchizedek. With a word of exhortation. During these perilous times. I pray all is well with you all. As we are being tested and tried. I would not say above measure because he promised not to try us or test us above that we're able. It is written that we know that the law, the Torah, the instruction and in righteousness, but we know that the law is good if a man conducts himself in accordance to the law, the Torah. Knowing this, that the law is not made for a righteous man, but for the wicked and disobedient. For the unholy and for sinners, for them without Yahuwah and profane, for murderers of fathers and murderers of mothers, for manslayers, killers, for whoremongers, the sexual immoral, for them that defile themselves with mankind, homosexuality, lesbianism, bestiality prostitution, for men stillers, kidnappers, for they Hebrews, so am I, and I be stolen profit, property from the Middle East, the Levant they call it, hallelujah, he's still in control, I forgive, but I beseech ye, let my people go that we may worship Yahuwah in the land of our fathers. For liars, for perjured persons, and if there be any other thing that is contrary to sound doctrine. So today they say that the law is done away with, contrary to the scriptures. Um, many stand on Galatians 3.13, Christ uh, has redeemed me from the curse of the law, then made a curse for me. But we see that he says in John 14, 15, if you love me, keep my commandments. In Revelations 22, 14, bless the day that do his commandments. So we know that that's a lie and error. And so it says that the law is not made for the righteous, but for sinners. And sin is transgression of the law. Sin is transgression of the law. 1 John 3 and 4. So how can it be done away with? And so if you are a willful sinner, remember the Sabbath day, the seventh day, which is a memorial creation to keep it holy, keep it set apart. But I'm going to work on this day. I'm going to buy and sell and go to the mall. I'm going to commit fornication. I'm going to play off on my wife. That's willful sinning. So the law is for you. If you keep Easter or Christmas, Things that are not scripture, not biblically found. For even today, we know nature itself. No bunny rabbit can have, lay an egg. So these are false doctrines. These are myths and fables. And so there's not a good man or a just man, Solomon says, that doesn't sin. Ecclesiastes 7, 20, but Hebrews 10, 26 to 31, say if we willfully sin, it's called rebellion. The commandments are done away with. It was nailed to the cross. If we willfully sin, transgress his laws, there remains no more sacrifice for sin, but a fearful day of wrath that will consume the adversary. So you become an enemy of the Most High. In Deuteronomy 30, I believe, he says, he shows compassion and love, mercy, to a thousand generations, to those that love him and keep his commandments. The master says in Revelation 3, I believe, 2 of two through 5, we've left our first love. Well, in Revelations right there, he, he does say, I'm not sure if it's the third chapter, but we've left our first love. Now, if we've left our first love and we were married to him, the only way back into favor, graces, is to keep his commandments, showing that we're repentant, 
like the woman who washed his feet with her tears in her hair. He or she that is forgiven much loves much. We cannot continue to take the most high for granted, thinking that we're saved. Hating the black man, hating the white man, hating everybody and everything. But we're righteous and we're holier than thou. We are given to eat pork and we're given to keep Christmas. We're given to do these things. Bless. God bless America. God bless my heart. You know I'm a righteous man. I'm not like this tax collector. I'm not like this Pharisees. I'm not like this woman. You say that you're rich and don't know that you're naked, poor and destitute and wretched. This speaks volumes to my soul. I was an adamant about being a Christian. I'm just a humble servant of the Most High. A voice crying in the wilderness, saying, Repent for the reign of your eyes at hand. And if you don't, you should likewise perish with the wicked. But Yah's commandment is eternal life. The eternal life is to know him and Yahushua, the Messiah, whom he sent. But there are things that go with the covenant, which is similar to a contract. We have jobs. And anywhere you go, they have policies, ordinances, and guidelines that must be adhered to. What about Yah? Why do you call me master, master, and do not the things that I tell you? If you love me. Keep my commandments. I'll show you who hears my commandments and do them. He's like unto a man or a woman that built his house upon the rock. And the winds came and the storm. But it did not shake that individual because it was founded upon the rock. And yes, the Father is very merciful. But do we want to play Russian roulette with our salvation or continue to assume our salvation. As to bring them up and down, says the scriptures. Let us continue. It says, the law is not made for a righteous man, but for the wicked and disobedient. Rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. So if we continue to do all these pagan holidays and things that are not scripture and call upon the name of Yah, we call his name to be blasphemed. Or even if we call him Lord and God and do not know the name and still do what the world do, are we better than the wicked? No, we're not. We're in the same boat. Throw me overboard. I'm Jonah. I have to find my way to Nineveh and warn them. I don't know about you, but I love you. I love our Creator. I love our Messiah. And I've let him down. And as I said, we missed the mark in many things. Let me be the first to say I have not apprehended but one thing I do is forgetting those things that are behind. And I press for the mark of the high call of Yahuwah that's in Yahushua the Hamashiach. It grieves me like Paul. Who isn't called to stumble and I don't burn with righteous indignation? Yes, we missed the mark many times, but this does not justify. And we cannot justify our sins. It's called self-righteousness. He says, come out from among them and be you separate. Test not the unclean thing. And I will receive you. That's pig, pork, and all these other things. They're unclean. He cast that demons into the pig. Unclean, going to unclean. Let us go into those pigs. Why not into another man? Why not into the whatever? Because it's an abomination in Leviticus 11 chapter. He told us what was permitted to eat. He told Peter, don't call man common or unclean. We cannot lie on the most high. That's why they received the Holy Spirit, the Ruach Arkadas. He says, and it is written, I change not. It is we who have changed, just like at Sinai. We're going to make him into a golden calf of Easter, of Christmas. He knows my heart. I'm a good person. There's no one good but one. And he says, repent. <sighs> Be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die. For I have not found your works perfect before Elohim. Remember therefore how you have received and heard, and hold fast and repent. If therefore you shall not watch, I will come on you as a thief, and you shall not know what hour I will come upon you. 
You have a few names even in Sardis, which have not defiled their garments. And they shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. He that overcomes, the same shall be clothed in white raiment. And I will not blot out his name out of the book of life. They told me once saved, always saved, beloved. It was nailed to the cross. Just pray about it. Keep eating your pig. Keep eating your swine, your baby back ribs. Keep keeping Christmas and Easter. But I tell you what, if you don't bring me your tithes or an offering, you're under a curse. What about the rest of the commandments, Pastor? Don't worry about them. Jesus did away with them. Show me in the Bible where he did. There's no scripture reference, Pastor. He said, if you love me, keep my commandments. Who are you, young man? I have founded this church. This is my flock. These are my people. If you disagree, leave, or we will kick you out. Deacons, watch this Hebrew, or this man. He seems to have a Hebrew mind. Hebrew means to cross over from the pagan traditions of man. So we've all been deceived, bamboozled, and inherited lies and falsehoods, things of vanity, no profit. And so to be a friend of this world is to be an enemy of Yah. And our arms and our hands are too short to box the most time. He says in Exodus, Moses, I'm going to blot those names out who have sinned against me. Two or three witnesses, let every matter be established. Revelation 3, 2 through 6 clearly says, and agree and confirms with what he told Moses and the master, the Messiah, say, and I will not blot out his name out of the book of life if you repent. Because you kept my word, my commandments, and have not denied my name, Yahushua. As long as I was saying Jesus and eating baby back ribs, buying cases and smoking weed and watching the cowboys on Sunday, I was doing well. But as soon as I said Yahushua, Yahushua, he is the Messiah. And Yahuwah, who are called Yahweh and God, he is Elohim. Now, all have forsaken me, but I'm not alone, for my Father is with me. It grieves, it hurts, yes. But the Ruach HaKadosh didn't come to make us comfortable. And the enemies will be those of your own household. It's hard to find someone amongst your, syllabus, uh, your relatives, even though they might believe. To come into agreement with you, we all have understanding and knowledge. Knowledge puffs up, but love edifies, beloved. And it behooves us to get into the word for ourselves, to get understanding. For we have opinions, and we assume things that are not scripture always. I don't say this to cast a snare or to cause condemnation. Y'all knows. Chief Sinner, I have been, and I still mess up. So I'm not one pointing the finger. When I'm telling you to repent, I'm talking to me. At least I'll be a hypocrite as well. This word is like a two-edged sword. It's for all of us. As we look into the mirror of the word, we must seek to be found in the reflection of Yah and not our own self-righteousness to where we can do anything we want to. It's called the hardness of heart to continue in your sin, to continue with Christmas and Easter and know these things are based and riddled in sat Satanism and paganism. It's to compromise the integrity of your wedding vows, the Ten Commandments. They say they're done away with. So have you been given a divorce decree since you believed in the Messiah? Or have you taken off your wedding ring in rebellion to commit harlotry? With the world. I've done it. We have all done it. We left our first love. He says, Return unto me, and I'll return unto you. Zion. Yah is righteous. He's waiting to hear our prayer by the same spirit. Be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die, for I have not found your works perfect before Elohim. 
He that overcome, the same shall be clothed in white raiment, and I will not blot his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. He that has an ear, let him hear what the rock says to the call out assembly. Behold, all souls are mine. As the soul of the father, so also the soul of the son is mine. The soul that sin, it shall die. You shall know them by their fruits, not their color of skin. The soul that sin, it shall die. Hell has enlarged herself because of the transgression of my people. It was made for the devil and his angels. It's like the grave. It never has enough or the fire. More wood, more wood, more souls, more souls. Behold, all souls are mine. As the soul of the father, so also the soul of the son is mine. Even of the foreigner, even of the stranger. It is written, you will love the stranger, giving them food, clothing, and shelter. Therefore, you shall love the stranger, for you know the heart of a slave. For you were in Egypt in bondage. So can a man be more righteous than the Most High to deny others of the other nations salvation? No. We do err. You cannot judge a whole nation and call them black and say they're all sinners. They're all crazy. They're all doomed for hell. There is no salvation but for us white folks. And you cannot say that salvation is only for the black folks or the copper colored, the brown skin, or the yellow. This is a grave error. It is prevalent today, and it must cease amongst the cold out of the assemblies. All souls belong to Yah. We ain't got a heaven or hell to put nobody in. The audacity of us true believers to try to put Yah in a box and say he just belonged to me. All souls are mine, says the Most High. If you add and subtract from his word, all white people are Esau, all black people are Hamites, and are cursed, you will give account in a day of judgment. Because it is error, and it is not scripture. And our self-righteousness for there is no respect of person with Elohim. For as many as sin without law, Torah, shall also perish without law. And as many as have sinned in the law shall be judged by the law. For not the hearers of the law shall be just before Elohim, but the doers of the law shall be just. The five. Romans 2, 11 through 13. So don't lie on Shaul, our brother Paul. Not the hearers, but the doers of the law shall be justified. The law don't save. But if we watch over, we observe, and keep by the best of our ability, the commandments keep us from perishing with the wicked. If you love me, guard my commandments. The simplicity of keeping it 100 with the Most High through the Son. If I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men unto me. And again, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the son of Adam come, shall he find faith on earth? Will he find faith? Will he find belief? Or will everybody be inoculated with the COVID vaccination? When clearly the scripture says, Yehu Rapha, he is our healer. And I will put none of these diseases upon you that I put upon the Egyptians. For the Illuminati and all this Freemasonry work, they originated. Out of Egypt, I call my son not to go back in and say, I identify with Pharaoh. Will he find faith, Zion? Unless those days been short, no flesh should survive. Fizzer has a patent. Johnson and Johnson has a patent. When you take that inoculation, you become up under their patent and their property. Look at it. Look it up. Supreme Court ruling. People don't even realize what they're doing. The lady said, how can you want me or the unvaccinated to take a vaccination uh, protection that didn't help to protect it in the first place? It's asinine. Colin Powell died fully vaccinated. These things are not put in the media. Oh, what a wicked will we weave when we first Plot to deceive. But Yah says in Job 
12, 16, the deceive and deceive, O oh my. He sets up thrones. He bring them down. Everything is happening for a reason, beloved. It's a visitation of all nations. The time is short and the enemy is scrambling. The devil know his time is short. He's trying to get all he can to go with him. But I must admonish you, Zion. Yashirah, stand. Stand. They're going to ostracize you. They're going to cast your name out as evil. Your family members and your loved ones, your wife, your husband, they're going to come to you. Your children, just bow down. Take the shot. Who do you love? Who do you believe in? Where are the hellfire preachers saying Jesus heals? He saves. Praise God. He's going to heal us. He's going to protect us. They all have scrambled for the benefits. They sold us out. They have sided with the enemy. Clearly, if there was an epidemic, everything would clearly be shut down. Every mask would be accounted for on the ground. Where are the hazmat suits? And like they pick up trash on the side of the road. Where are they? Throughout the cities, getting all these masks. Because clearly, it's contaminated. The hypocrisy, the tyranny of our so-called leaders. And they'll tell you to be quiet. Or they'll block your banyan. Yeah, the devil don't want you to know the truth. Tell the truth, shame the devil. You who arrange that. May it be well with you. Stand, beloved. Stand. Whether we live or we die, we are Yahuwahs. Let this rest in your heart, and let not your heart be troubled. You believe in Elohim, he says, and believe also in me. And my father has of many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you, that where I am, there ye may be also. And if I go, you know, and the way you know. Follow me, says the master. If any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sister, yea, his own life, also he cannot be my taught one. And whosoever does not take up his stake, his tree, his pole, his cross, and come after me cannot be my taught one. For which of you intend to build a tower sits not down first and counts the cost? Whether he have sufficient to finish it, at least happily after he has laid the foundation and is not able to finish it, all that behold, it began to mock them, saying, This man began to build and was not able to finish. But what king going to make war against another king? Sits not down first and consults whether he be able to with 10,000 to meet uh, him that comes against him with 20,000. Or else, while the others yet are a great way off, he sends an ambassador and desires conditions of peace. So likewise, whosoever he be of you that forsakes not all that he has. He cannot be my taught one, my disciple, my Talmudine. Salt is good, but if the salt has lost its savor, wherewith shall it be seasoned? It is neither fit for the land, nor yet for the dunghill, but men cast it out. He that has ears to hear, let him hear. Better it is that you should not vow than you should vow and not pay. You said you love me. You got baptized, right? You love calling up on my name. Psalms 50 says, Why do you take my covenant or my laws in your mouth? Seeing that you hate instruction. Instruction is Torah, law. <laughs> Suffer not your mouth to cause your flesh to sin. Neither say you before the angel that it was an error. Wherefore should Elohim be angry at your voice and destroy the works of your hand? For in a multitude of dreams and many words, there also is diverse vanities. But the reverence of Elohim, but reverence Elohim, if you see the oppression of the poor and violent perverting of judgment and justice in a province, similar to today, marvel not at the matter, for he that is higher than the highest regards, and there be higher than they. Yahuwah is sovereign of sovereigns. And I'm Yahuwah Rapha who healeth thee. Not this vaccination or the Surgeon General or Joe Biden. By his stripes we are healed. Do you believe this? Zion, 
and true believers. If you've taken inoculation, repent, and as you ought to purge your body of the impurity and evil. In Revelations, he brought to my attention that the people would not even repent. That's why they perish. And after so long, the heart becomes even more hard, and they want to change and alter the mind and take over the memory, Elon Musk, and put chips in the head so they can make you think what they want you to think and this and that and take away what they call the God gene and all this kill the most high in your heart. That's why it's so important not to bow down to these people. They have an ulterior motive, beloved. When have you ever noticed in all our days there has not been another side or a debate going on over something such as great as this worldwide. They silence every lamb. That's a red flag. If we're free, we should be able to sit down and communicate all sides and bring all evidence to the table. What are you hiding, government? What are you hiding? Why are you so fearful? and ready to lock up and kill people who speak against this agenda. Why not bring everything to the table? Dr. Fauci, you put him on a pedestal above Yah. Repent. Fauci can't say. Every last one of them, from the who and all of them, they're only guessing. I don't want to be your guinea pig and bust hell wide open. So he says uh, that he would delegate and send uh, messengers for peace. We must have salt in ourselves, beloved. But ye are they that forsake Yahuwah, that forget my holy mountain, that prepare a table for God. G-A-W-D or Gad. They put Gad in there to throw us off, but it's God. And furnish a drink offering unto many. Faith, the God of fortune and faith, uh, like going to Las Vegas, you know, or in God we trust. It's not Yah. It's right here in the scripture, Isaiah 65, 11. The sacrifice and prepare our table for Gad. Oh, luck, fortune. It's our fate. Soldiers of fortune, America, merc a mercenary <laughs> nation under God, the God of luck and fortune. These are perilous times. And they've altered things to deceive letters and words. But look up the word Gad. It's G-A-W-D. If you pronounce that, it comes out God. Therefore, I will number you to the sword, and ye shall all Bow down to the slaughter. God is jealous. He has a right to be. He created us. But if we choose to side with the devil, that's what we'll get. But he's getting destruction. Because when I called, you did not answer. When I spoke, you did not hear, but did evil before my eyes and did choose that wherein I delighted not. Therefore, says the sovereign Yahuwah, behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. Behold, my servants shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart. And shall howl for vexation of a spirit, a rock. And ye shall leave your name for a curse unto my chosen. So who's truly cursed? It is written, cursed are those they who do not hear or do all that is written by my servant Moses to obey. Now, outside of animal sacrifices and the rituals of the Levitical priesthood, you know, burning the ashes and all that, that's done away with. That's put on hold. The Messiah, he said, sin offering sacrifice, you had no pleasure, but lo, in the bottom of the scroll is written to me. I come to do your desire, your will. What is his will? If you love me, keep my commandments. That's his will. What is our will? I pray that my heart was, what is that? I pray that the meditation of my heart and the words of my mouth be acceptable in thy sight, my Elohim, as King David would say. <laughs> because the way of man is not in himself, beloved. 
We get beside ourselves, we read a few scriptures and we think we know it all. But it's more of putting it into action. It's time out for lip service. The master and the father says, these people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. Obeying the precepts and traditions of men as commandments. Christmas, Easter, Valentine's Day. Hey, you can keep Memorial Day for the soldiers. What about Memorial Creation, the seventh day? which they call Saturday, for Yah, your creator, who you say you love, or who we say we love. I'm not saying this to belittle anyone, because I've done it, I'm 54 years. I just had a birthday two weeks ago. So I've done it most of my life. So I appeal, appeal to your sincere hearts, your pure minds. For all Christians, Jews, uh, Islam, we all believe in one creator. And we believe that he is all powerful. We believe he sent the son, some more than others. We are the, the Abrahamic belief. We must return to the ancient path. Ishmael must repent. Ashkenaz must repent. Yaakov, Jacob must repent. Yashirah, Zion, we must repent and return to Yah. In spirit and truth, we must worship him. For you seek and such to worship him. Without that, We're in for a rude awakening. Behold, my servants shall eat. For the sovereign who shall slay you and call his servants by another name, that he who blesses himself in the earth shall bless himself in the L O R truth. And he that swears in the earth shall swear by the L O R truth. Because the former troubles are forgotten and because they are hid from my eyes. Your words have been started against me, says Yahuwah. Yea, ye say, what have we spoken so much against you? Ye have said, it is vain to serve Elohim. And what profit is it that we have guarded his ordinances or kept his ordinances and that we have walked mournfully fasting and praying before Yahuwah Zavahat? And now we call the proud happy. Michael Jordan got it made. Oh, look at future. Tupac. It's appointed man wants to die and again, then come to the judgment. Yea, they that work wickedness are set up. They that tempt Elohim are saved, delivered, not guilty. Paying the judge and the lawyer under the table. You have enough money, you can just about do anything you want. This is sad. For he says to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So then it is not of him that wills, or nor of him that runs, but of Elohim that shows mercy. Behold, I will send my messenger, and he shall prepare the way before me. And Yahuwah, uh, the master, the sovereign whom ye seek, shall suddenly come to his temple, even the messenger of the covenant, whom ye delight in. Behold, he shall come, says Yahuwah Zabah, but who may abide? The day of his coming. And who shall stand when he appears? For he is like a refiner's fire and a full of soap. And he shall sit as a refiner and a purifier of silver. He shall purify the sons of Levi. If you have understanding, you know we're in the order of Melchizedek. So we're being purified. As the master says, my father is the husband. He prunes and purges that you might bring what? Much fruit, bring forth much fruit. Purify the Levites and purge them as silver, gold and silver, that ye may offer unto you who are offering in righteousness. It is your righteousness if you keep my law, statutes and commandments. Deuteronomy 6, 24 through 25. An offering in righteousness. Then shall the offering of Yehuda and Yerushalayim be pleasant unto you as in the days of old and as in the former years. And I will come near you to judgment and i will be swift a swift witness against the sorcerers and against those who break wedlock commit adultery and false words and against those that oppress the hireling in his ways the widow and the fatherless the orphans and that turn aside the stranger the foreigner from his right you don't have to keep the ten commandments we'll give you seven no hide laws you keep them foreigners don't add or subtract from my word it is written
one Torah, one law, set of laws for all, not just one law, but all that is written is for us. That's still applicable for us and we're able to do. That's why he says the study to show yourself approved, not listening to the Jewish, not listening to our president, but what is written. One law for all, not seven for them and ten for us, or 613. It is error. And I will come near to you to judgment. To turn the stranger from his right, and fear not me, says Yahuwah Zabahad. For I am Yahuwah, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob, Yaakov, are not consumed. It is written, and he said, Hear ye now, o house of David. It is a small thing for you to weary men, but will ye weary my Elohim also? Therefore, the sovereign Yahuwah himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall be with child. So how can we explain this away? Even the Jews today, I hear it, don't allow them to read Isaiah 53, the suffering servant. He was wounded for our transgressions. You cannot add and subtract from his word, even in Islam and the various factions. I see a man was burned yesterday alive for blaspheming. This was so twisted. A pack of dogs would get together and accuse anyone just for blood. And we're righteous, Ismail? Clearly not. In Christianity, y'all yeah, help us. A Christian will jump out of a car and bust you in your head with a two by four or shoot you for stepping on their shoes just as fast as an atheist. So, none righteous. No, not one, as it is written. He called all men unto repentance. Acts 17, 26 to 31. At least we should boast in our flesh. And shall bring forth an infant son whose name is called Emmanuel. For every battle of for every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood. But this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. For unto us a child is born, and unto us a son is given. Scripture interprets scripture. That was Isaiah 7, 13 through 14. This is Isaiah 9, 5 through 8. The seed of the woman will crush the head of the serpent. And without the shedding of blood, there is no sacrifice for sin. Leviticus 17, 11. So we needed a sacrifice and atonement. And he's risen. For you that don't believe. Don't be unbelieving, but just believe. He's risen. He's already came. And he's coming back. He came as a lamb. He's coming back as a lion. The lion of the tribe of Yehuda. Take heed how you hear. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, El Gabar, the Mighty Al, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Shalom, they say uh, peace. Of the increase of his government and peace shall there be no end, and upon the throne of David, and upon his kingdom, to order it, and to establish it with judgment, and with justice, right ruling, from henceforth and forever. The zeal of Yahuwah Zabaot will perform this. Yeah, we'll perform this. And an age sent a word into Yaakov and is lighted upon Yasharah, who being in the form of Elohim, thought it not robbery to be equal with Elohim, but made himself of no reputation and took upon the form of a servant, a slave, and was made in the likeness of men. And being found in the fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross, the stake, the tree, the pole. Wherefore Elohim has also highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name, that is the name of Yahushua, or Yahushua, both are correct. Every knee should bow and of things in heaven, of Shamayim, and things in earth, and things under the earth, and that every tongue shall confess that Yahua is Yahushua HaMashiach, to the glory, the esteem of Elohim the Father, who says, Besides me, there is no Savior. So he's Yahua Yerah, our provider. He's Yahu Shalom, our peace. He's Yahu Yahusha, our savior. He is the Al. And besides him, there is no Al. It is written in Psalms 107, verse 20. He sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions. 
Oh, that men would praise Yahuwah for his wonderful works unto the children of man. Confirmation, John 1.1, 1, 1, 1 through 3, and verse 13. It is written, in the beginning was the word, and the word was with Elohim, and the word was Elohim. And he tabernacled his tent of flesh, and came and dwelt among us. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. That's the confirmation. Two or three witnesses. It was Yahuwah's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. All praise to the Most High, for we know nothing of ourselves. In Yahushua name, I mean. That the name of Yahushua every knee shall bow. I come in my Father's name, and you receive me not. Yahushua or Yahushua both mean Yah's our Savior. Jesus mean Hail Zeus or Son of Zeus or Zeus means pig or uh, horse, like Trojan horse. Rome took over Christianity or the true believer, the Nazarene, and brought in pagan holidays and all kinds of false doctrine, the lion pen of the scribe, additions and subtraction. And so I grew up calling him Jesus too, but he said, I come in my father's name. So he had to have Yah in his name. I won't get dogmatic because he revealed it unto his disciples. I revealed them unto them your name. Keep them in your name, the same name you gave me before the beginning of time. He says in Revelation, we just read, because you have not denied my name, I will keep you from the hour of calamity. And because you kept my word, I will not blot your name out of my book of life. Proverbs 30, verse 4. What is his name? What is his son's name? This is a prevalent question uh, that each true believer must answer. Preferably. Now, I don't believe you who are in his righteousness, for he is the righteous judge, will throw out the baby with the bathwater. We're waking up saying, Goo Goo Ga Ga, Lord God. So don't tell me what God or Elohim you believe in. Show Yah by who commandments you keep. See, Satan children keep no commandments. They say no law. The laws were done away with. That's lawlessness. And so they're given to or prone to sin because of this error that is prevalent today. I come in my father's name, and you receive me now. If another should come in his own name, Jesus, Jesus, no laws. That's how I'm not saying it's a slander for you who believe that Jesus is the name of the Messiah. Don't get me wrong. I grew up, I love, I love me some Jesus. Don't you talk about Jesus. You know, I bust your nose. I was like the next Christian, <laughs> ready to fight. But Yah has revealed in these last days, knowledge has increased, that his son came in his name. This looks like any family name. Uh, I was born Henry Williams. I've changed my name to Eliezer Ben Shalom Mekizadak because that's a Christian name. It identifies with Rome and also the social security number and all that that goes with this slavery and entrapment of this government uh, and plausible deniability and the FDR and all this abomination. I changed my name. I wanted Azar Yahu Ben Eliyahu for Azar Yahu is the name he gave me when I woke, but the courts wouldn't let me. I went through their way. Now, preferably, I will do an affidavit and a declaration of the name that Yah gave me. As are Yahu, Ben Eliyahu, if he permits. Nevertheless, Eliezer, Ben Shalom, Melchizedek. Eliezer, Lazarus, and Azar, which is Azariah in English, both mean Yah's my help. So, if Yah, whichever one he permits, he permits, so be it. It's late in the hour, and I don't want to cause anyone confusion, but he gave me Azar, Azar Yahu. But the government wouldn't let me do that. I didn't have the money, so I filed indigent and yada, yada, yada. But now I know I don't need their permission. So you can call me Eliezer or Azar, <laughs> for short. I am that I am. Hallelujah. And there's nothing without my Yah. In Yahushua name, I mean. How can you believe which receive honor one of another and seek not to that honor that comes from Elohim only? Do not think that I will accuse you to the Father. There is one that accuses you, even Moses, in whom ye trust. For if ye believe Moses, you will have believed me, for he wrote of me. Remember in Deuteronomy 18, 19, he said, I'm going to raise up a prophet like you from amongst the brethren, and he will come in my name. He will speak all that I command him. And whoever doesn't hear his words that he will speak in my name, that's why he says, very important, I come in my father's name, John 5, 43, you don't receive me. 
But whoever doesn't hear it in Acts 44, verse 32, say they should be utterly destroyed from amongst the people. Then at the Mount Transfiguration, third witness, Elijah and Moses, the law and the prophets, the elect one, hear him, my son. Should we make boots, sakus for them? No, this is the one I spoke of. This is my word made flesh. So if we don't hear him and don't believe Moses who wrote of him, he said, how can you believe his words? Anyway, he said, he ain't going to judge you, whom, whom you trust. But if you had believed Moses, you would have believed me, for he wrote of me. But if you believe not his writings, how shall you believe my words? And you know that the master, also a confirmation, I only speak what I hear my father say. He will speak all that I command him in my name. The master said, I only speak what I hear my father say. I only do what I see my father doing. His commandment is everlasting life. He been put, put before all you a blessing or a curse, life and death, and told you, commanded you to choose life so down I see me later. If you love me, keep my commandments. But we have went our own ways. And so he had to send us the way, the truth, and the life, how to love him aright in observance of his commandments and instructions. To prayerfully and happily obtain eternal life and eat of the tree of life that Adam and Eve, our mother and father, forfeited by breaking his commandment and was kicked out. That's the whole thing. That's what's going on. To be reconciled back to our creator. He's given us the word of reconciliation, literally, in the Bible and in Yahushua. So we're without excuse. It's the word we speak to do it. As it is written. We didn't obey, and it cost us, my people. It is written, Yahuwah sent you on a journey, and said, Go, and utterly destroy the sinners of Amalek, and fight against them until they be consumed. Wherefore, then, did you not obey the voice of Yahuwah, but did fly upon the spoil, saw the goods, the riches, like, and did evil in the sight of Yahuwah? For Yahuwah has spoke, and that was First Samuel 15, 18 through 19, when they did not destroy Amalek, it became a thorn in our side. And then also he told us that we will learn their ways and everything and worship things of uh, wood, the cross and all, all these things and the steeple on top of the church, which is a erected sun god pillar from Egypt, you know, just like the Washington Monument. It's all paganism and Satanism. He told us, he, he said, the Bible is undefeated in prophecies. Why don't they have that on the news? This book is outstanding. Even the scientists are still coming back, backtracking, saying, oh, this was written. This, oh, this right here. And they're trying to explain it away, but they can't. Your words have been stout against me, says Yahuwah. Oh, no, we don't want to skip this. For Yahuwah spoke thus to me with a strong hand and instructed me that I should not walk in the way of this people, saying, say ye not a confederacy to all them to whom this people shall say a confederacy. I'm American. God bless America. No, I'm a not serene. I am Hebrew. Son and servant of the Most High. I'm Republican. I'm Democrat. No, you were created by Yah to worship Yah. We choose sides with this world. We are bound to lose. It's all a facade anyway. They put in office who they want. Spinning our wheels. Taxed above measure. Render unto Caesar what is Caesar's, and unto Elohim what is his. His worship. Your service. Your reasonable service. He's not unreasonable. I'm steady learning. So my voice may sound very strong and inadequate and very intimidating, but my heart is sincere and it goes out for all who love Yahuwah and long to see her appearing of the Master. But the enemy would like to cause us to envy and strive and fight amongst one another over words and petty things. I pray for our unity, beloved. Sanctify you who is of our himself and let him be your fear, your reverence, and let him be your dread. 
and he shall be for a sanctuary and for a stone of stumbling, for a rock for offense to both the house of Yasharal and for a gin and a snare to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, Jerusalem. And many among them shall stumble and fall and be broken and be snared and taken. Bind up the testimony, seal the law, the Torah, the instruction amongst my disciples, my taught ones. Isaiah 8, 11 through 16. Ye are my witnesses, says Yahuwah, and my servant whom I have chosen, that ye may know and believe me and understand that I am he. Before me there was no ill form, neither shall there be after me. I, even I, am Yahuwah, and besides me there is no Savior. Inky and Lil and all these things, they tried to describe Yah the best way they could. But if you look over into it, Yahuwah reigns. I was looking at Dr. Pigeon, and, uh, but where it says, uh, Inky, Yahuwah, Elohim, I say, whoa, yeah, yeah, inky. And so anyway, it's deep, but they've hidden things from us. And so they use things and they twist them a little bit. And then we have to understand that Park Shad and those, those, even though they came from Shem, them, they were not, in, well, I won't say they didn't have the Ruach HaKadosh, but it wasn't inclined from Sumerian. You know, their writings weren't Ruach HaKadosh inclined. So they did the best they could. So that's just like that uh, when you start um, tell a story at this end, when it get down to the end of 100 people, it's a totally different story. And so everywhere we go throughout the world, they have a rendition of a, a, a story about the flood and all these other things. Man, and this finite wisdom and understanding, the infinite possibility that Yahuwah uh, reigns, uh, that we are a creation that only divinity could conceive. It resounds throughout creation, beloved. But a day is coming that all should know what is written is true. Wherewithal shall a young man cleanse his way by taking heed thereto according to thy word? Rejoice, O young man, in thy youth, and let your heart cheer thee in the days of thy youth, and walk in the ways of thine heart, and in the sight of thine eyes. But know thou that for all these things Elohim will bring thee into judgment. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of Elohim. And the world passeth away in the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of Elohim abide forever. Flee fornication or sexual immorality. For every sin that a man doeth is without the body. But he that committed fornication sinned against his own body. Likewise, ye younger men, submit yourselves unto the elder. And yea, all ye be subject one to another and be clothed with humility. For Elohim resist the proud but give grace favor to the humble. Let no man despise thy youth. But be thou an example of the believers in word, in conversation, in love, charity, and in spirit and in belief, and in purity. I write unto you, little children, because your sins are forgiven you, for his name's sake. But thou, o man of Elohim, flee these things, and follow after righteousness, and godliness, Elohim likeness, belief, faith, love, patience, and meekness. Then came the word of Yahuwah unto El Yirmiyahu, or Jeremiah, saying, Behold, I am Yahuwah, the Eloi of all flesh. Remember, all souls are his. Is there anything too hard for me? Jeremiah 32, 26 through 27. And it shall come to pass afterward that I will pour out my spirit, my rock upon all flesh, not some, all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall Nabuah prophesy, and your old men shall dream dreams, and your young men shall see visions upon all flesh. I believe that might, well, it is what it is, but I know that his rock is in all of us. He will have compassion on whom he will. And it'll fly and return to his creator. But I believe for the elect, those that are predestined, that all flesh, Yah is able to say, but it's nothing too hard for Yah. And it shall come to pass, he says, I'll pour out my spirit on all flesh. For he says to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will and compassion on whom I will. So then it is not of him that wills, nor of him that runs, but of Elohim that shows mercy. So speak ye and so do, 
as they that shall be judged by the law of freedom or the Torah of liberty. For he shall have judgment without mercy that shall show no mercy, and mercy rejoices against judgment. He has showed you, O man, what is good and what Yahuwah requires of you, but to do justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with your Elohim. Yahuwah's voice, Yahuwah voice cries unto the city, and the man of wisdom shall see your name. Hear ye the rod, and who is appointed it? Are there yet treasures of wickedness in the house of the wicked, and the scant measure that is abominable? Shall I count them pure with wicked balances? Fiat currency. Take away your silver and gold. Be your debt note. Unrighteous mammon. And with the bag of deceitful weights. For the rich men thereof are full of violence. And the inhabitants thereof have spoken lies. And their tongue is deceitful in their mouth. Therefore also will I make you sick and smiting you. And making you desolate because of your sins. Magi 6, 8-13. And I will come near to you to judgment. And I will be a swift witness against the sorcerers and against those who break wedlock, as we read. Wash yourselves and make yourself clean. Put away your evil of your doings from before my eyes. Cease to do evil and learn to do well or good. Seek judgment, relieve the oppressed, judge the fatherless, the orphan, plead for the widow. Come now and let us reason together, says Yahuwah. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. And though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool, if you be willing. In obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. But if you refuse and rebel, you shall be devoured by the sword. For the mouth of Yahuwah has spoken it. It is written, rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. Paul says, O foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you? Clearly the Messiah was impaled, crucified before your very eyes. You obey in days and times. I fear for you. Christmas. Is not scripture. Easter is not scripture. Paul was telling them back then. Paul kept the Shabbat. Acts 1821. Must need I keep the feast in Jerusalem through our scripture. Then we just read Romans 2. Not the hearers of the law shall be justified, but the doers. So don't lie on Paul and try to make one doctrine stand doctrinal stance on Galatians 3:13. Christ says, Redeem me from the curse of the law, being made a curse for me. The whole duty of man is to revere Elohim and keep his commandments. I know your works in tribulation and poverty, but you are rich. I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Yahudim, or they say Jews, but it's Yahudim, worshippers of Yah, and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan, or a congregation of Satan. For none of those things which you shall suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried or tested. And ye shall have tribulation ten days, be faithful, trustworthy unto death. And I will give unto you a crown of life. He that has ears to hear, let him hear what the rock says unto the cold out assembly. He that overcome shall, he that overcome shall not be hurt of the second death. But pray that your flight take not be not in the winter or on the Shabbat. For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time. That's what we're going through. There's never been any, uh, anything like this, a COVID, uh, uh, fictitious or whatever. Ezra says you shall remain in the plagues. So even though they might have lied, and was, they didn't conspired and constructed something that's going to kill a lot of people. And they want you to take, they say it's not in the vax. Well, what's in the vax? Do your own research. Trust not man. Cursed be the man that make man his arm, and turn away from here and yah, and his commandment is written, beloved. The fear of man bringeth a snare. He say, Fear not those that can destroy the body and not the soul, but rather revere him that can destroy both body and cast soul into hell. Let Yah be your reverence, your fear, and your dread. Isaiah 53. Dust and ashes we be. The hypocrisy the audacity of our so-called leaders. It is written that our leaders have caused us to err. And also, he speaks against the pastors. You know, T.D. Jake set up the thing for everybody to come there. And you know he got paid up under the table, money and sentence and all these things. <sighs> these are truly perilous times, beloved. 
and people are being led to the slaughter. He says, I have a few things against you, you leaders, you heads of Yaakov. And Yahshua, you know, you teach for hire and, and they preach for money. Buy the truth and sell it not. Knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. It's in Proverbs. Paul said he did not take let these things cause his ministry to be blamed. You know, he did not charge people to give me money so his ministry wouldn't be blamed. These are examples, beloved. Yah is going to provide, but they made his, his congregation, his iglesia, into a business. It's not a black Wall Street. It's not a Wall Street. It's the kingdom of Yah. Behold, I will make them of the, of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Yahudim and are not, but do lie. Behold. And so we know that Ashkenaz is not the 12 tribes. They come, look in the Jewish Virtual Library, 1980. It's not correct to call uh, Ashkenaz or Jewish person or Hebrew or Israelite of the Bible. They don't want you to say it. So why do they promote say, anti Semitism? Uh, to be anti Semitism, I'm Afro Asiatic. It's to call me a nigger, black, and all these things. The derogatory term. But it's written in the word that we will be by word and hissing. Nevertheless, flesh and blood won't inherit the kingdom, but a new creation. We must be born again from the beginning. Learning how to walk right, how to talk right, how to eat right. No more pork on my fork. And how to keep the commandments of Elohim. And tell the people the truth. We dropped the ball. That's why we got the Trayvon Martins and the uh, Floyds. Because my people perish because of lack of knowledge. You think the devil's going to give you the truth? They took his name out of the Bible almost 7,000 times and put Lord and God in there. And scripture says they sacrificed to Gad, God. And Jeremiah 23, 2 to 7, say, how long will they prophesy a lie, saying, I have a dream. I have dreamed. Have my people forget my name for Baal, for Lord. So Lord God is Baal Gad. That's Satan. Depending on who commandments you keep. If you sin and preaching lawlessness, no laws, then that's Satan. He's your father. He's a liar from the beginning and a murderer. And he abide not in the truth. It is written that word is true. So don't lie on Yah. He never, and there's no scripture saying his commandments are done away with. In the whole Bible, there's no scripture saying eat pig. Throughout scripture, nobody in the whole Bible ate any pig. It's not soul food, it's soul damning. That's why the oppressor gave it to us. That's why we have high blood pressure and diabetes so prevalent amongst my people. And we love to have it so. Give me a free phone. Give me Medicaid. Get us out of the way of the most high. Abomination. Uh, abomination. Same sex union. Can a man be more pure than his creator? He created man to be fruitful and multiply. We will unwillingly kill and destroy ourselves through same sex union and abortion. They both are not fruitful. 60 million babies plus counting. 300 million in China. Same sex union. A man and a man can have a child, neither can a woman and a woman. We will commit genocide upon ourselves. Where did this evil inclination come from but Satan in the mouth of our leaders? And against Torah, what is written. Behold, I will make them come and worship before your feet and know that I have loved you because you have kept the word of my patience. I will also keep you from the hour of calamity which shall come upon all the world to try them, to test them that dwell upon the earth. We're being tested. Who do you love? Behold, I come quickly. Hold fast which you have that no man take your crown. Him that overcomes, will I make a pillar in the temple of my Elohim. He shall not go out more, or he shall go no more out. And I will write upon him the name of Elohim, and the name of the city of my Elohim, which is the renewed Yerushalayim, which comes down out of Shamayim from my Elohim. And I will write upon him my new name, Shem. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Ruach says unto the called out assemblies. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in Elohim. Believe also in me, and my father house of many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself, that where I am, there ye may be also. 
and whither I go, you know, and the way ye you know. Yahushua said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes unto the Father but by me. If you had known me, ye should have known my Father also. And from henceforth ye know him, and have seen him. Yahushua cried and said, He that believes on me, believes not on me, but on him that sent me. And he that sees me, sees him that sent me. For it's written besides me, there is no Savior. And again, Yahuwah said unto me, They have well spoken that which they have spoken. I will raise up a prophet from among their brethren. This Yahushua. He's telling Moses this. Like unto you, and I will put my words in his mouth. He shall speak unto them all that I command him. I shall command him. John 5, 43. I come in my father's name. You don't receive me. But if another come in his name, Jesus, Jesus, son of Zeus, no laws, him you'll receive. Sunday is the day of worship. Zeus was the sun god. It's the great falling away. Christmas and Easter. None of it's scripture. And it shall come to pass that whosoever will not hear my or hearken unto my words that he shall speak in my name, I will require it of him. Deuteronomy 18, 17 through 19. They told me the Old Testament was done away with. Luke 24, 44 through 45, saying, The law of the prophets of Psalm, it is written of me. He opened their mind that they might understand the scriptures. If he opened their mind and he called the law of the prophets of Psalm scriptures, the New Testament wasn't even written it because they were still living it. I grew up a Baptist. So how can the Old Testament be done away with when it's all they ever had? New Testament, the renewed covenant, it solidifies and confirms the old. It is the manifestation of the word and the works of Elohim. They go hand in hand. They give us an example what has transpired and what not to do. Precept confirmation. For Moses truly said unto the fathers, A prophet shall you who are Elohim raise up unto you of your brethren, like unto me. Him shall you hear in all things, whatsoever he shall say unto you. And it shall come to pass that every soul which will not here, that prophet shall be destroyed from among the people, regardless if you're native born, regardless of color of skin, shall be destroyed from amongst the people. One set of law, one Torah for all, native born and stranger. Do not add or subtract from my words, says the Most High. Yea, and all the prophets from Samuel and those that follow after, as many as have spoken, have likewise foretold of these days. Ye are the children of the prophets, the Nabaim, and of the covenant, and of which Elohim made with our fathers, saying unto Abraham, And in your seed shall all the kindreds of the earth be blessed. Baruch. Unto you, first Elohim, having raised up his son, Yahushua, sent him to Barak you, bless you, and turn away every one of you from his iniquity. So how can you continue in sin and say the commandments are done away with? When he told the woman who was called in the midst of adultery, and he told us how to come to condemn the world, but to save the world, the Son of Man did. But the word is going to judge us all in the end. And every other word, man shall give account of. But the woman he told her, were although thou accusers, they were trying to twist the law and make him uh, pass judgment contrary to the law. And Leviticus 20 chapter said that both of them should be stoned. Why did, if she were caught in the very act, why did they bring the man and woman? Because the hypocrisy of the Pharisees, he knew this and kept writing in the sand. You without sin cast the first stone. Now we must get the understanding. And after they left from the least to the greatest of them, or the greatest to the least, then he told the woman, we're your accusers. He didn't commend her or, uh, or say, okay, it's okay to sin. He told her, go and sin no more. Then he finished it up for us to understand, they that believe in me shall not walk in darkness. Why? The commandment is a lamp. And the law is a light. It's a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. And if you're not walking and observing the commandments and the laws and the Torah instruction, you're walking in darkness. As the scriptures say, the whole world lies under the sway of the wicked one. Psalms 82 say the whole world, the earth is out of course. They know not that they err. They walk on in darkness. That's outside of darkness. Uh, the Torah. The people that sit in darkness saw a great light. But is that light? That word. The game and became flesh. And now, it is bound together in books for us, called the Bible. Basic instructions before leaving earth. Some have said, I have come in my Father's name, and you receive me not. If another should come in his own name, him will you receive. 
I come as a light into the world, that whosoever believes in me shall not abide in darkness. If any man hear, hear, if any man hear my words and believe not, I judge him not. For I came not to judge the world, but to save the world. He that rejects me, and receives not my words, remember he only speak what his father say, has the one that judges him, the word that I have spoken, the same shall judge him in the last day. He's given him a name above every name. And we will. And he's going to judge him. Because he is the son of Adam. The word made flesh. He knows what we're going through. But without excuse. He's the author and finisher of our belief. If we be willing and obedient. As it is written. For I have not spoken of myself. He's letting us know. But the Father which sent me gave me a commandment, what I should say and what I should speak. That's what we just read in Deuteronomy. He says, And Yahuwah, Deuteronomy 18, 17 through 19, And Yahuwah said to me, This Moses, they are well spoken, which they have spoken. I will raise up to them a prophet from among their brethren, like unto you. I will put my words in his mouth, and he shall, and he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him. And it shall come to pass, whoever won't listen to him, my words, which he shall speak in my name, I will require it of him. Now, John 12, 46 through 50, he says, He says, I come as a light into the world, and whosoever believe me shall not walk in darkness. If any man had, uh, hear my words and believe not, I judge him not. For I came not to judge the world, but to save the world. John 3, 16. But he that rejects and receives not my words hath the one that judges him, the word that I have spoken. Why? Well, because the Father say, I'm going to send him in my name. He's going to speak all I command him. But the church has deceived us, and many have deceived us in religion. He wants a relationship with his creation. He's not going to force us. He before us a blessing or a curse, life and death, good and evil. We're free moral will agents to do or not to do. That's how righteous Yah is. He's not going to force his creation to serve him or worship him in spirit and truth. To keep it 100 with him and not take him for granted. What about Yah? No, no one of us like to be taken for granted. Not your wife, not your husband. I thought you said you loved me. What is this lipstick on the shirt? What is this phone number? What is this? What is that? What is this Christmas? I said, don't worship me like the heathens. What is this Easter? What is this steeple on top of this church? Uh, and you bow down to my altar. Why do you call me master, master, and do not the things I say? Many will say, in that day, master, master, I prophesy in your name. I cast out devils in your name. I done great and mighty works in your name. And I will profess to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you transgressors of the law. Sin is transgression of the law. First John 2, 3, 4, how do we know we know him if we keep his commandments? He that say I know him and keep not his commandment is a liar. First John 3, 7, let no man deceive you. He that practice righteousness is righteous, even as he is righteous. Deuteronomy 6, 24 through 25, it'll be your righteousness you keep my law, statutes, and commandments. Psalm 119, 142, thy Torah is the truth. It is righteous. That's why he gave us his word. Because he knew what we was up against. But he's not going to force us. Today they say, leave your Bible at home. We're going to run a PowerPoint. We're going to tell you. We went to the uh, conference, Southern Baptist Conference, and we got our marching orders. But Yahuwah is supposed to speak to us and speak to his word. Not something been orchestrated or manipulated by men to only preach this and don't preach this. Don't preach anything about same-sex union. Don't preach anything about abortion. Don't call in the riffle. If you preach anything, tell them to bring you your money. Because we're getting paid too. We are the government. We're straight de facto. Under Satan. And God we trust. It's an abomination. <laughs> I will not accuse you to the Father. There is one that accused you. Even Moses. In whom you trust. And the same word will judge us all in the end. Whatsoever I speak, therefore, even as the Father said unto me, so I speak. All praise to the Most High Yah and Yahushua Mashiach name. I pray that this was edifying and that it helped some and lead many to a true repentance, as it has me. Uh, all praise to the Most High. I don't have the stomach to try to slander anybody that's in religion, but according to the duty and the call, we are to warn all mankind. Shalom, beloved. Y'all be praised in Yahushua Mashiach's name. I'm your brother Eliezer. Not rabbi, 
not bishop. I'm just your brother. It is written, we're all brothers. Those titles, honorific, though may be, they puff us up. Shalom, beloved.